to jQuery video series and this is part 17 and today we are going to look into the last filter. So at present we are done with the first one and now we are focusing on the last one. So let's jump into the code and before I jump in if you're new to jQuery then I want you to go to jQuery.com and there's a link called as jQuery.com slash download and we need to download the uncompressed version because we are right now in the development stage. Once you have done that next thing you need to import the jQuery in your project. Once you have done that, you need to add a reference into the head section of this file. And after that, we will write some JavaScript code by saying document.ready. Document.ready means once the document gets finished loading, after that we want to perform some action. And the action is right here. So now, uh, let's see, uh, so far what we have learned is, uh, we need to test if jQuery is working fine. So all I'm saying is, from this mockup, I'm selecting the H2 tag. So let's preview in browser. So it's an obvious thing, the H2 will get selected, so jQuery is working fine. Okay, so next, we are looking at the mockup. I have one H2 element and two div tags, and within that, I got three paragraphs each. Okay, so now I want to use the last filter. So I'm, I'm going to instruct a jQuery. Hey jQuery, first get me all the paragraphs and from that I want to choose the last one. Okay, so P and last. And now let's save this and let's preview in the browser. So the last one should get selected. So it was pretty easy, wasn't that? Right, so all it does is it matches the last element in the HTML document and that's it. After that, it doesn't go and look for any other selections. So the syntax is pretty simple. You specify the element and after that you apply a filter that you want to pick the last element. And once you do that, you have the results. All right, so let's check where we are. So now we are done with the last as well. Up next, we are going to look at the EQ selector using, I mean, I'm going to explain that in the next video. So I hope this helps. Thank you for listening. Good night and take care.